Hello, today we're looking at the Corona Chorus and we're going to try a basic vibe tone print. Uh, see if we can get something a little bit usable with that. I've set up a loop and uh, the pedal already has the tone in it, so let's have a listen to see how that sounds. We're going through a Fender style amp with a tiny bit of reverb. <laughs> Our dry tone, and now a little bit of a fiddle with the speed. Okay, so fairly flexible, uh, it does wobbly, it does gentle, it does fast or slow. Uh, let's look at how to build that. Um, I'm not going to go over installing the tone print software or all the other stuff with that. There's a hundred videos out there that tell you what to do. It basic idea is download the software, make sure you've got the USB cable, plug everything in so you've got power and a cable into the pedal and then it should show up. If it doesn't, um, there's hundreds of forum posts out there about that, so uh, I'm not going to do that today. So uh, we're going to start uh, from a fresh template, and we're going to use the advanced template as our basis. Um, so uh, from there, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch the kill dry on. Um, I'm going to turn this on so you can hear things as they're changing. <laughs> Okay, so the kill dry, immediately you're getting a vibe kind of effect because we don't have the original signal anymore. We only have the affected signal. Uh, but we can do better than that. So let's uh, move on to the next section. We're going to move our modulation type to vibrato. Um, and we're going to take leave modulation active as on. And we're going to take the through zero flanger down to zero. Uh, some of these settings we won't need to change uh, in the next bit. If they are affected by the knobs, it's pointless changing them because as soon as we turn the knobs, that's going to change the settings that are shown in the display here. Uh, for example, if we turn the speed knob, you'll see that the speed parameter changes there. So we'll just set that at 12. Uh, I recommend you set everything up at 12 when you start, and then we can just go from there. So they're all fairly usable. Um, something I should mention is uh, when you use the kill dry, uh, a parameter switched on, sometimes you get a volume loss. Uh, so I'm using my chorus with the effects level set at about 2 o'clock, and that seems to cover that problem, and uh, choruses are a good healthy volume as well. It's not that there's a huge boost when you switch it on, as you would have noticed uh, when I switched it on before, uh, but there's definitely a drop when you lose that original signal. Um, so 2 o'clock seems to be the sweet spot for that. Okay, so where did we get to? We've set the modulation type to vibrato, we've switched the through zero flanger down to zero, we are going to ignore the speed and the depth one for now because they're the main parameters we'll be using in our um, tone print. Uh, we want to set the delay time two and three to the minimum, which is 0 0.1 milliseconds. This doesn't actually make a huge change, uh, but it's tidy and I like it that way. Yeah, so that's all the stuff we have to do in that section. Uh, so that's pretty simple. 
Uh, now we get to the fiddly part where we have to do the knob selection programming. Uh, so the idea here is you click on the knob and it shows the parameters that are associated with each knob. And then depending on the parameters that you're clicking on, um, there's nothing showing here until we click. I don't know why this is in the third slot, but it is. Then it will show us the values for each of these knob positions. Uh, so let's start with the speed. I found that the initial speed uh, was really, it, it was just not enough until you really turn it up. Uh, if we turn that on now so you can hear what we've got so far, because this is applying a real time to the pedal. <laughs> There's not really any effect there, unless I turn it up to about... Three o'clock, it's still not really doing anything. Four o'clock, it's a little bit more obvious. Um, possibly, once we get depth rolled in, probably the three o'clock point would want to be my 12 o'clock point. And then it just goes crazy between four and five, which is really the top. So we really need to change that. So let's change the curve of the um, knob range to something a bit different. I'm gonna make my bottom value when it's turned all the way down to two hertz, which this is a little bit tricky to drag these into line. Now I'm gonna try and do that. And then I'm gonna slowly go up from there on a nice curve. So 2.9 is the next one that I've set. If I can find it, there we go. Next one, we'll go for 3.87. That's just copying my initial patch uh, or tone print and 6.9 for the next one. And then we'll finish with 10 Hertz, which if you really want to ramp it up, that's what you can do. Okay, let's listen to that now. So we'll just give the knob a little bit of a tweak and that'll bring us in line. Just boost the depth a bit so you can hear what that's doing. That's a pretty good speed for slow or medium. So all the actions happening between between nine and three o'clock, but we've got extremes there if we want them. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the next knob, the depth knob. Now for me, uh, these are okay, except for when you get to the end of the higher higher position, suddenly it goes completely out of whack. Um, and the lowest position is kind of like a totally nothing position for me. So I'm going to just boost everything up slightly and then just bring this 35% depth, uh, just tame that a lot. So I'm going to bring that down initially. Uh, we'll bring that down to about nine. There, and then working across, I'll start at 1% as my minimum depth because that's really the lowest I can hear. And then we'll go for 3.1 for the next one. And then our third position will be 5.1. A nice gentle increase here and then 7.2 and we'll finish on 9.2 and now let's have a listen to how that changes the depth curve so we'll just increase the speed a bit that makes it a bit more obvious when it's at that minimum very very subtle but obvious once you get to nine o'clock 12 o'clock's a healthy wobble. Three o'clock is really pushing it. And then if we really want to go full on, we can, that's about as wobbly as I will ever want it. So, so that's kind of my feel for those. Uh, the last setting we have, uh, we have to click on the chorus high cut down here and we will this is really the tone selection uh, well that's the tone knob so that's kind of obvious so, uh, anyway i feel that this curve is a little bit um it just rolls too much off for me uh, because we don't have the dry effect going through anymore it's just the um the vibrato effect that we're sending out of the pedal uh, so it's not like we're mixing the dry signal with something else with a bit of the tone rolled off so I think because this is a total effect, uh, we are going to have it uh, a little bit more subtle in the amount that it's rolling off. So we're going to change it so it doesn't do anything below 710 hertz and then about 4.5 kilohertz. Uh, and then we'll have nine 
kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. So we're slowly rolling that curve off, and then it screams up to 20 kilohertz, which is everything on. Um, and that's pretty much everything we need to do for this patch. Um, so let's just listen to how that um, that tone knob works now. So that's everything in. A little bit of top gone, but not much. And then if we really want it dark, that that's as dark as I'll ever want to go. So a lot of this is very much a preference thing. So it's up to you. Uh, what you like, it's very subjective. Uh, so these are suggestions and uh, what I felt was good for me, uh, but they can be your starting point. Um, so from there, we can uh, save this if we want to, in which case you push store and then you pick where you want to stick it. Uh, I don't want to create a new entry because I've actually um, got this saved already and there seems to be no way to delete these tone prints at the moment and uh, so I'm not going to save it but basically you click on new entry and then type in whatever you want to call it uh, and store that and that will save it in your application uh, and then if you want to keep it on your pedal uh, you while you've got it loaded up like this you just go store to pedal and done uh, so that's pretty much it here's an overview of all the settings for this tone print I'll put a link in the description of where you can download the image If you found this video tutorial helpful, click the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.